archaeology just as an approach shows you some really interesting facets of the past. For instance, some archaeologists look at the past in a very creative way. Archaeologists have used ancient Greek statues to prove that ancient Greeks didn't have any arms. They didn't have any arms. No genitals either. Um, very hard to know how they created civilization or reproduced at all. Um, we have actually quite a problematic relationship with the Greeks, archaeologically speaking, uh, because in the British Museum is the, uh, the Parthenon marbles. Are we familiar with the Parthenon marbles? Yes. Uh, some people don't know them as the Parthenon marbles. Some people know them as the Elgin marbles. But they're not called that. That's a bit like me taking your phone and calling it Harry's phone. <laughs> it's not really my phone, is it? To put you into the shoes of the Greeks, kind of like what happened to them. So the Elgin marbles, the Parthenon marbles, were taken from the Parthenon uh, when the Turks were occupying Greece. The Turkish were occupying Greece, and they sold the Parthenon marbles to the British, to Lord Elgin. Right. So they were being occupied by the Turks, sold them to the British. To put you in the shoes of the Greeks. That's a bit like somebody breaking into your house and selling off all of your things. And when you get back, you can visit all of your possessions. <laughs> in a replica of your house, but you have to pay to get in. 